Welcome to Kwan's Corner. Today, we're gonna make Korean bulgogi stew. Let's get started! Young chingoder, are you guys ready to cook? Winter is officially here. It's December. Winter means stew in Korea. But a lot of stew doesn't have enough meat. So today, I'm gonna teach you my favorite Korean stew recipe. It's perfect for cold winter days, meal prepping, and you can have a lot of meat. Today's recipe is... Bulgogi... Oh, wait, wait. No. <laughs> Dukbegi bulgogi. Dukbegi is a Korean stone pot, bul, fire, gogi, meat. So dukbegi bulgogi is stone pot fire meat, but that's not how they translate it. It's Korean beef stew. And once you prepare it, it will take 10 minutes to cook. I know I keep saying 10 minutes, but it will take less than 10 minutes to cook. So let's get started. To get started, we're gonna prepare our vegetable first. Get an onion, so slice it into half and slice thinly. I made a bulgogi stew recipe on my channel for like a third episode or fourth episode, but that one is more complicated. Today I'm gonna teach you a simpler version of bulgogi stew. When I start making a YouTube video, I dubbed every episode. So I was basically reading a script. And when I read, somehow I sounded like Burger King for lettuce. Like Burger, Burger King, King for lettuce. lettuce. Slice the onion and put to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't watch it. I'm gonna chop a 2 inch thick cut. <laughs> Why did I thought that was gonna be so <laughs> small pieces? Uh, uh, I'm turning red. <laughs> Next, get two green onions. I'm using four small green onion stems, but normally I would use two large green onions. So, slice thin. Put to the side. Put to the side. I'm a bad man. No, uh, Oh, really? Why? Because uh, there's only one? I'm the bad man? Do you say I'm a Kwan? Nice to meet you. I'm Kwan. Yeah, uh, I'm Kwan. <laughs> <laughs> so that's his name? Yeah. Oh, that's a sweet pumpkin. Every single Kwan's episode has a random joke from random TV show that they randomly walk in the park. I don't think Sometimes it's walking dead, sometimes it's. Am I gonna put this? Sometimes it's so like no. Get four spicy peppers. But if you don't like it, make sure to skip this part. Bulgogi doesn't need to be spicy at all. But in my city, Daegu, our food is mostly salty and spicy. So I like to make every single food spicy and bulgogi as well. So I got four spicy pepper, but make sure to change it to your preference. So cut the stems. Ooh, this pepper. Oh, very spicy. I like it, pumpkin. <laughs> and slice thinly. Sounds like you're doing mangachi. No, it's not. Mangachi will be like... No, I shouldn't do that. Very, very delicious. So, slice thinly. Something like that. And put to the side. Now, we are gonna make our sauce. First, we need six cups of water. One cup of soy sauce, jinganjang. And one cup of mirim. One cup of white sugar. Just so you guys know, the adding a cup of sugar might be gross and too much. But if you like the bulgogi, they're adding a lot of sugar. You just didn't notice. So, feel free to skip the sugar, but I wouldn't guarantee the taste for you guys then. Oh, all the Korean food, they add sugar. Why are you so sweet? Oh, I got it from my daddy. <laughs> Next, two tablespoons of dashida, Korean beef stock. About one tablespoon of onion powder. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Half a tablespoon of fish sauce. Two and a half tablespoons of chamgirim sashimi oil. Lately, Mochi has been watching me every time I film. If any of you make YouTube videos too, I was wondering if your dog or cat watches too. Is it normal or is it being weird? Or... And I was wondering whether you guys want me to make more videos with Mochi. Please let me know in the comment down below. I don't know what I can film with him, but he's my cutie patootie, so I don't want to wait. He's his cuteness. 
Next, get four tablespoons of minced garlic. Last, sprinkle some black pepper. This all depends on your preference. Some people don't like black pepper and some do. So add as much as you like. And I'll give, I forgot how much. <laughs> about like 15 toys and mix it well make sure to mix it well all the sugar will be on the bottom so we gotta dissolve it <laughs> next get one kilogram of thinly sliced sirloin and put it into the tupperware i'm gonna leave 25 percent of the vegetable to use when i'm cooking so add 75 percent of the onion green onions and pepper make sure to separate the meat so it can marinate equally if you want to pan fry the bulgogi this sauce will be too watery and bland for you because this sauce is for steel so if you want to make pan fried bulgogi marinade you can click here this is basically done i would recommend you to marinate this in a fridge for at least a day but if you don't have time at least four hours even better two or three days so this goes in the fridge much later it's been four hours so we are ready to cook but before we cook it get a carrot i forgot to slice it before because i don't really like carrots <laughs> I guess carrot is very optional, but Korean adds carrot for the colors. So slice it in quarters. Slice it thinly. Press down the carrot as you cut them and start julienning them. Carrot is not the tasty, but it's so pretty. And put to the side. Next, get a stone pot and handful of glass noodles. If you go to Korean restaurant, they usually serve tteokbokki bulgogi with glass noodles. It is okay to skip it, but if you want to feel like you're eating at the restaurant, make sure to add it. And... Ooh, smells super good. Smells like bulgogi. Oh my god, I like it. <sighs> so good. And get as much meat as you like. Add your marinade. And we're gonna add some onions, carrots, spicy peppers, green onions. Turn your stove on high heat and we're gonna wait until it boils. I usually get tteokbokki bulgogi for lunch at work and usually it's about like a 7 to 10 dollars depending on where you go. I really like the flavor but they never put enough meat. But when I make it for myself, I can add as much as I like. So I like to eat it at home way more. I feel like I'm in a restaurant though, oh my gosh. Once it starts boiling, you can see these like a brown bubbly part I think it's okay to eat but this is like a bad part and oil and my mom always told me to take it out so I'm gonna take it out it looks like that it's oil and a blood that's what they say from the meat once it's like bubble bubble and boiling before it boils rapidly we're gonna turn into medium low since bulgogi is a thinly sliced beef it's already cooked but I'm cooking a little longer to intensify find the flavor of the broth. After 3 minutes of boiling, we're gonna add anokin mushroom on top of it. That's it! Our tukbegi bulgogi is all ready to eat! Eating time! That's it! Wow, we eat just that like, oh, I just had a soup, but the flavor is super strong. Oh, let's try the meat. Wow. Wow. I don't know how should I explain. It's like a exactly same as a restaurant. Like, this is how they would serve, but more meat flavor. Because they don't usually add this much meat. Oh, I think I'm so bad. If you had teriyaki, it tastes a little like that. It's very oniony, garlicky, and a little sweet. But even though I add a lot of spicy pepper, it's not that spicy. It's just a hint of the spice. And Sarah worry about the sugar, but it's not that sweet. I mean, it's a little sweet, but not a lot. And I really like it. Since I made it stew, I feel like compared to the normal bulgogi, it's a lot more tender 
and soft and more like warm hug like mama's warm hug i need it during the winter it tastes super i don't know warm i like it i feel like my heart is getting warm I think best way to eat glass noodle is in the soup. It soak up all the flavor of the soup. I think it might be best part. I really like it. It goes super well with it. It's like a really nice like ramen with the meat on it. Like I'm eating a noodle with a super nice tender saloon. It goes super well. I really love it. It's super delicious and it's best for the winter. So you should definitely try it. So that's it for today's episode and if you like this episode, please hit the like button. That will help my channel a lot. What time is it? Time to announce Jingle of the Week. So Jingle of the Week is... Am I sure we underbar? I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. They tried my chamchi mayo dopa Korean tuna mayo rice and it looked really good. I hope you enjoy it. Keep cooking delicious food and if you're cooking my food, please tag me. Thank you to my Patreon, Mechano Man, Krista, Sacrally, Nancy, Samantha, Shannon, Miss Cheshire, Spencer, Gia, Joy, Sue, Lexi, Mr. Mrs. Gavin. Thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better content. See you next week. Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. Then I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!